Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have a guest. This is my friend Jen. Say hi. Hi everybody. Um, Jen is running the show today. She has brought all of her briefcases. I'm on the perfect, I'm on the hunt for the perfect leather bag. She's on the hunt for the perfect leather briefcase. Briefcase. So we have a lot to share today. It's long, grab some food. It's gonna be a good time. Um, but let's, let's start with saying how we met each other. Oh, this is a great story. <laughs> some of you know. I think some of you know how we met. But I live in St. Louis, and you lived where? Um, I spent nine years training in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And um, my field is a little nuts. And two years before I needed to start my next phase of training, I interviewed in St. Louis for a position that was going to be one year. And um, I had seen a few <laughs> of Danae's videos about bags because I had just gotten bit by the leather bug and um, <laughs> the leather bug. <laughs> somewhere in one of her videos I think she said something about St. Louis. I was like wait yeah. I'm totally gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna move to St. Louis. So um, then I totally Facebook stalked her and because she's an artist her profile is open so you can see yeah. all of her wonderful work Yeah. and um, I discovered we had a lot in common and I shot her a message. I said you don't think this is weird, but we both like leather. I'm moving to St. Louis. Um, it seems like we have a lot of common interests. Um, and then you mentioned my church. So yeah. She yeah. was also looking for, well, a place to live, what part of St. Louis is yeah. safe, and then what church is cool to go to. And yeah. so I kind of told you what's up. Yeah, and um, I came with my husband to uh, look for rentals for a weekend, and Danae and her husband graciously <laughs> agreed to meet us in um, the Central West End, which is a really uh, nice part of town where I would be spending some time as close to where I work, and um, we met, hit it off, and I go to our church, and... Yeah, she's part of my Sunday school, and my it's husband great. and I leave, and it's just great. <laughs> it's great. So and we met on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. We totally met on YouTube. Yeah. So that worked out. And now you get the opportunity to move on to the next phase of life with an yeah. awesome job in Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. And so she was kind of like, hey, do you want to get this video done before I move? <laughs> I'm like, that's bittersweet. But yes, let's do it. Okay. Uh, good job. Okay, so the first thing we're going to get started with is Jen is going to walk you through the order of the bags, um, like which one she purchased first. We'll go through all of that and then what were we going to do? We, let me look at my notes. We are going to then talk about pros and cons about each. Kind of compare them so that you can see them next to each other mm -hmm. in real life. Um, it's hard to judge size online so we thought we would do that for you. Yep and then at the end we're going to leave it off on where you are in your journey for the perfect leather briefcase. Has she found it? Has she found the one? <laughs> dun dun dun. Okay. Good job. Let's keep going. Um, goofs. Okay. Who was purchased first? Not who. What? These are not people. Which okay. one was purchased first? Okay. So um, this was my first pack. This is the thin front pocket briefcase from Saddleback Leather in Chestnut. You're going to see a theme here. <laughs> And um, I was really looking for something with a classic look, but also um, some organization to it. And because I'm a smaller person in general, I didn't think I needed the two gussets. I just wanted the one main compartment. You're referring to, there's the front pocket briefcase and then the thin front pocket briefcase. Right, so the, so you went thin, with the thin, and this is yeah. from Saddleback Leather. Yes. You mentioned the companies, if you could. Yes. Uh, yes. There's a lot is, of Saddleback. <laughs> yes, most of them are Saddleback. Yes, this is uh, Chestnut yeah. from Saddleback Leather, and this was my first bag. This purchase was um, because my work bag, which I thought was, le well, I mean it was leather, but it wasn't good leather. Um, um, while you chat, I'll, I'll just, I'll model it or yeah. like open it and stuff. So just so keep chatting. So my uh, work bag that I thought was good leather, you know, I didn't know anything at the time. Um, the zipper broke and I remembered seeing Dave's videos online about the quality of leather and how he doesn't put anything on the bags that could potentially break. And I liked that idea, so um, I spent a lot of time on the website and eventually 
arrived at this one. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's uh, started to break in quite a bit. I carried it almost every day for probably close to a year. Wow. Um, this shoulder strap has a lot of padding in it and it really molded to my shoulders. So yeah, a lot of memories with this one. How many years ago? Do you remember what year? Oh my goodness. It was part way through residency. I want to say like 2016. Okay. It was right before the pricing. Case. And this bag is still available, I believe. In a slightly smaller size. Yes. Oh. This is the large, which has been discontinued, but the medium, which is like a couple inches. Oh. Um, less. Okay. Is Good to know. Okay. Good job. Put it over here. Who's next? So, um, it was a tie. Yeah, I couldn't remember which which one I actually bought next, but um, I'll go ahead and talk about this one real quick. Okay. This is also a discontinued um, style from Saddleback Leather. This is also a limited edition color. This is the caramel. I know it looks like a nice worn-in tobacco, but this is not tobacco. Um, this was available on the website as part of a bundle because of the color and I had been looking at this style for a long time and because the bundle was discounted I decided to go ahead and uh, get the bundle thinking that I would be able to sell the smaller items that came with it that I wasn't going to be able to use. And I'll model or just show what this can do. Yes. Just so you can keep talking. Yeah. And um, I was right. I was able to sell the other pieces from the bundle and um, then I was able to keep this one and I essentially it worked out to be a really nice price. So I'm really happy with it. Didn't you like sell everything even before this bag showed up? Uh, yeah, like, so the promise of it. there's a really great uh, fan group and there's a really great uh, buy sell trade group for Saddleback Leather and um, I'll leave them in the description box below. They're on Facebook. I always forget that this is going to end up on YouTube, so you can say that. I've never done this yeah. before. <laughs> Everyone says it on YouTube. <laughs> I know, right? So, like and um, subscribe. <laughs> I posted to the group. Uh, that I had bought the bundle was anyone interested in the large wallet and I think it was like a small bifold wallet mm -hmm. and before I think the bundle even shipped I had someone interested in uh, the That's large awesome. wallet and then once I had pictures in person of the, mm -hmm. the bifold wallet that sold too so and this one by far out of all of them you're seeing is probably the most broken in oh yeah it's super like worn in how long did you use this one uh, many months in a row, um, every day. I think this leather just softens a little faster, yeah, too. Yeah, I, you know, this is really burnished from resting next to my mm -hmm. side, and there's, oh, I've it. chucked it into the back of my car, and it landed on an ice scraper one time, and I got a really nice gouge in here, and <laughs> now that's just part of the story. That's just part of it. Um, yeah. Okay. So. And then this one? And then this is the um, crossbody laptop carrier by Love41. As we all know and love Suzette, she likes crossbody bags. So um, I got this one because uh, I wanted something just with a little bit of a different style to it. Um, it's wider than the laptop bag, and um, I thought that my laptop might fit in there a little bit better, and it does, and um, we'll talk about that later. Um, but it also has um, it also has pockets and more organization than uh, the laptop bag, but it is lighter than um, the thin front pocket briefcase. So I was looking for something that fit my frame a little bit better since I'm kind of a small person. Um, yeah, there's lots of organization She's currently, in here. all our stuff is in here right Yeah, now. so I packed this one out before coming to see Danae and- There's so much in there. There's a, it fits a ton. It doesn't look very deep and it's not, but I'm, I'm able to fit everything in there and then. But like the, it has one integrated pocket mm -hmm. and then you just use like a lot of pouches. It has mm -hmm. one floppy pocket for um, to separate your yeah. laptop. And then there's a zipper pocket on the back as here. Well. And you yeah. said this is a 13 inch. Yeah. Sorry, I keep taking over, but I gotta keep modeling them. <laughs> they wanna know what bags you have and then the back zipper. Yep. This is very cute. I love it. Every time 
I move away from it and use a different bag for a few weeks, I end up going back to it. I, I switch it up a lot. And every time I think I am not going to use this bag anymore, maybe I want to sell it. I almost sold it once. And when <laughs> a I moment went, of weakness. When I, yes, in a moment of weakness. And when I went to get the bag out of my closet, I was like, I can't do this. I know. And then I, I, and then I carried it for several weeks in a row. So. I know. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good job. So, um... From this one, I decided I wanted to try um, a lighter bag that still had the satchel styling to it's it with the flap. Up, so oh yes, this um, this is a this is a custom job. So I um, commissioned. Feels so special. <laughs> say I commissioned a bag. So I had Josh Coke make this. Uh, he's an hi um, Josh. Hi. Yes. Hi. Uh, he's an amazing um, artisan, and um, he listened to everything that I wanted in the bag, and um, we did a really simple closure here. It's not lined, so it's lighter. I was looking for something lighter than my bigger bag, um, but with a capacity that was a little bit more than some of the smaller bags that I had been carrying. And I wanted it to fit my laptop exactly, and he was able to do all of those things. So I really enjoyed this bag. Um, you mind opening it and showing? Oh it yeah, a bit? sure. So it opens really easily, as you can see. And then um, my pocket here. My phone fits really nicely here. It's very flappy. It's very flappy. Um, it's less flappy when it's full up. And then but up just hold it open. Let's see. Can you see that? I have a pocket here for that fits my laptop perfectly, and then uh, one here for whatever. I think I put a pouch in here with chapstick and stuff. And then um, he put some pen loops here that the stylus for my laptop fits really well. And then also um, he put a D-ring over here for my keys, and he sent me a, a key ring with a spring clip on it that I didn't even ask for, so that was yeah. like a nice little surprise. Yeah. So, but he's a great person to work with if you're going yeah. custom. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he um, he was pretty easy to work with. Just yeah. Was the timeline? Do you remember roughly? It was, a couple um, months? it was it was a couple of months between um, contacting him. Hey, can you do a bag for me? To having it in my hands. So a couple of weeks back and forth, emailing and then and then yeah. just. It I remember when you came to church and you're like, I just got this. And I'm like, this is gorgeous. I really like this because it's floppy. It's it's really that's floppy. My, that's my yeah. preference. Okay. And then we end with the big star. The, the 13er. The 13er from Saddleback Leather. Yeah. So, um, this was just a month or two ago. Yeah, this was a, this was a couple months ago. I think I actually bought it the day they released it. I, um... Didn't know what they were releasing. I was at work. I got the email over lunch, and <laughs> I thought about it, and I really kind of fell in love with um, this idea. It's really a miniature version of my first bag, which we um, can just compare to. Let me bring, close this up. Yeah. So I love the chestnut color by Saddleback Leather. And I love this, you know, the, the satchel styling and um, the buckle. And I, I actually like the slightly um, stiffer leather so that it, it sits up on its own. And um, when I saw this was uh, roughly the dimensions of the laptop bag, but just a little bit bigger, and looked very similar to my favorite bag that was a little bit too heavy for me. I thought this might be the this might be the perfect. Ooh, that that's p word. I know. I don't use it that often. Will you okay. hold up your laptop bag too? A little oh yeah. Bit? Sure. Do you like kind of? Yeah. So we can. Uh, we can actually go to your right. And then ah, there have we them go. all in frame. Yeah. So thin front pocket briefcase laptop bag 13 or these things are so different I know. I know um I just for our people at home these are all on the same plane so you can kind of see yeah. screenshot there and then here do this with me we all turn turn oh turn, 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 turn no to the side oh to the side oh, okay 
And then they can see. Yeah, the similar the, depth. The depth. This one's gonna have the most. Yeah. Um, and these are gonna be very similar. Hmm. But. Okay. And then just hold them like this while you talk about the 15 or I'll hold this. Yeah. So my current laptop um, fits in the main compartment of this bag, but uh, it doesn't actually fit in the laptop sleeve that's that's in the back of this bag. And I, I kind of like that idea better because it keeps it away from, you know, your keys and your patches and your zippers and whatever. So in this bag, my laptop does fit uh, back here, which I like. But um, one of the things that I was not as thrilled about with this bag is um, there are two sections of reinforced um, lined leather here and that adds weight for me. The pigskin lining. The pigskin lining. Weight. Yeah, just these, both of these pieces are, are lined. And then there's two unlined pockets here, which for me, I don't know that these two pockets add that much um, utility. I I don't know. I found that they um, got in the way of what I was able to fit in this this front pocket. You were kind of confined by their size. Yeah, or, or just like so they have some depth to them. He's added some depth by putting uh, a pinch at the bottom of these uh, pockets. And they just kind of stick out into this space. Hmm. And I don't know, I found it not as useful as I was hoping it would be. But I was able to clip pins and, and things like that to mm -hmm. this thinner piece here. So for smaller items, it does kind of keep them separated. But then you end up with two reinforced lined pieces here, which added a little bit of weight. Um, more than I was And then what expecting. is the weight of it empty? So the weight of this one empty is four pounds and um, the laptop bag and um, Suzette's um, crossbody laptop carrier are closer to three pounds empty and it doesn't sound like a lot but I'm a small person and even just one extra pound I can really feel it when it's yeah. packed out. And add your laptop, your notebook, yeah, especially your my cell phone. Yeah. Everything for the day. Yeah. Um, what other thoughts on the 13er? Um, Was there anything else you wanted to share about it? Uh, other than other than that, other than the limitations of of just how these pockets. I was expecting to love the pockets and didn't really. Mm -hmm. um, everything else I really liked. There's the key keeper. My laptop fits where it's supposed to. It even has a. It even has that false bottom. Does it? it? Yeah. Um, that's really not going to show on camera, but it's down there. Yeah. Um, I do remember you telling me when you first got it, you sent me some pictures, and mm -hmm. you were saying that when the pockets are full, that things, it's like harder to, like, the pockets are full, and then it makes it tighter to really even use in the body. Yeah. Did yeah. you remember saying that? Um, yeah, so... So will you demonstrate what that comment meant? Like... In the main compartment, did right. this get oh, pinched yeah. because of this? So if you if you put as much as you can into these front pockets, and you can really fit a lot in these front pockets, it pushes this piece back into the main compartment like this. And then... And then you can't get as much into hmm. the main compartment. So for me, I don't know. It's, it's, almost, like, it's almost like this front pocket mm -hmm. should have had more depth, if you can turn it right, right. here. Because then whatever the 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 objects push it out of the bag, not back into the right. body of the bag. So because this pocket is attached flush to the main body, yeah. any any real volume that you put in here takes away from the main, it kind of pushes this back in. Okay. That's just a really helpful tip. Mm -hmm. Maybe if they're redesigning it, I don't know if they would, it just came out. Yeah, but it just came out. Enough. I will say that other than the width, which I can tell the difference because of my laptop, this one felt smaller than this one just because of that volume here hmm. and this just having one main open compartment I could really yeah. just throw things in here. Will you close that flap? I wonder if we just put them like this butt to butt if they really can like see it is bigger by quite a bit. This one? Yeah. Yeah yeah it's it's wider um like if you're going or taller yeah yeah wider yeah 
However you have But it. because of this like open spaces, yeah. it feels yeah. bigger. This is just hmm. one. Maybe maybe organization does eat up more than we want it to. It does. It definitely does. This is just one gigantic yeah. open. And I have a review on this. I had the black one. I used that for um, a handful of years. And no. I watched that review, and that's one of the reasons I thought this might fit my needs. Um, that's so weird. <laughs> I exist. I'm real. <laughs> she, okay. she is real. Okay. Uh, all right. So from here, uh, do you want to look back at the um, the other two bags and kind of compare them a little bit? Yeah. I think we had written down that you were going to do pros and cons of each bag. Yeah. Is that yeah. what you wanted to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we already talked about some of the pros and cons of the yeah. of the 13er. Uh, for me, the pros are that it's the perfect um, width for me. It fits my personal laptop perfectly. And I'm sorry, it's a non-standard brand. It's an Asus. It's not an Apple or, or anything. Yeah, you said it's 12 and a half wide. It's 12 and a half inches wide. It has laptop. a 13-ish inch screen diagonally, 13 to 14 inch. So. Um, the overall dimensions of my laptop are about that of a 13-inch laptop, and it fits perfectly in here. It's called the 13er. So 13er. Yeah. So uh, pros: if it's my laptop, great. Um, it's the style I wanted and the color I wanted. And um, cons for me are just it's a little heavier than I really wanted, and for me the the functionality of these pockets takes away from the functionality of the main compartment. Yep. So. Good job. There's 13er. And, and you can do this next part in any order you want. Yeah, so um, for for me, the, the pros of the laptop bag are that it's it's very light and it's very simple. I actually like this, um, the handle that they put on this one. I don't know why they didn't put this on some of the other smaller bags, like the, um, the tablet bag, which they've renamed now. Um, I like this really simple. It broke in really nicely. Um, uh, I really do like this uh, closure. I know some people don't like it. I well, this is the the 2.0 closure. Right. There it doesn't was, swivel. There was a closure. Um, I think you can kind of see this. There was a closure where this part swiveled. 360. Mm -hmm. So catching it at the right time to clip was tricky, yeah. but once they made it stationary, yeah, it is. Do you like that? It, I, I do. do. I really like it. There's actually a um, a mark from my thumb going here to catch it. I'll have it down by my side, and I can get into it mm -hmm. really quickly. And um, I really do like that. It clinks when I walk, but other oh, than that, yeah, I like a cowboy. Yeah. So the only the only real con for me on this bag is that it wasn't quite wide enough to fit my laptop where I wanted it in that in that coffee pouch. Yeah, and um, to be honest, chestnut's my color, but <laughs> this was the right price. So. I'm not picky about colors, so I don't really know what you're talking about. No, it doesn't. Not I'm picky at all. Extremely picky about <laughs> color. What am I saying? I can't even make a joke. Okay. Um. So pros and cons about my first bag. <laughs> um. I don't you remember that excitement of it, like purchasing such an expensive thing and it's shipping to you and I you're know, like, and you're watching it. it, and there. it <laughs> I paid the extra three dollars directly to UPS for them to upgrade it from whatever to UPS ground so that the UPS guy would deliver it and not the post, the, no. not the mailman, you know? No. Things you learn. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, pros about this bag, it's, it holds everything I need it to hold, obviously. Um, it's the biggest out of, out, out of my bags. And I really like the organization of all these pockets. And if you haven't seen the video that Dave had up on the website about this bag or its um, cousins, um, these pockets here, and maybe Danae was showing you this earlier, but there's also yeah. a pocket here. I was quietly shoving my hand in those pockets. I, I had certain things in each one of these pockets, and I even remember um, like how I used to pack it out and where everything was. Oh, young <laughs> love. <laughs> Sorry. first bag. I know. I love key keepers. This one has a key keeper. I think um, for me, the only, there's two cons to the bag for me. The weight 
it it was hurting my shoulder and um it would have been nice to have like a a floppy back pocket in here just like a really thin yeah. pigskin only yeah. for laptops but did you ever try and wear it in backpack mug i did um you uh, should try it again if you need your backpack. The um, the bottom edge of the bag, like oh, kind of hurt, kind of dug into my back. But it can be converted. It can you be converted. Strap one strap through here, and then come back through. Story time. <laughs> well, this is the good time for it. So um, at my one year position here in St. Louis, I um, one of my coworkers had like a medium satchel and he didn't know what he had it was in, it was chestnut it was saddleback somebody had gifted it to him just Excuse said me? yeah he had, he had no idea he uh, um <laughs> i looked at it i was like oh is that a saddleback bag he's like what are you talking about and i said let me let me yeah. see the bag <laughs> and he showed it to me and um it is the satchel style which i think have all been discontinued at this point you can find them on the buy sell trade groups yeah. and mm -hmm. and on ebay sometimes um but uh somebody had just given him the bag and said i don't use this anymore do you want it and he loved it That's crazy. he loved it and he didn't know that it converted to a backpack <laughs> i blew his mind i unclipped the um the strap and threaded it through the ring and there were like five other people in the room watching me struggle getting the yeah the the thing the um shoulder pad shoulder pad yeah through the ring and they said are you sure it does that and and the owner of the bag was like no no she knows what she's doing she, <laughs> it's like, like an operation <laughs> it was it was so funny but i converted it to backpack mode and i handed it back to him and his eyes were just so big he's like i can't believe this and and then for a couple days i saw him around the department just like carrying his bag <laughs> It was it was awesome. That's um, a good story. <laughs> it was great. I always attack people with saddleback leather packs like they know what they have and sometimes they just don't and they just yeah. are given a graduation gift and you're like Yeah. There's, there's a story here. There's a surgeon that walks through our department sometimes and he has he yeah. has a classic like a medium or large classic and I uh, I definitely said something to him one time yeah. and he smiled. He's like, it's a new saddleback. <laughs> All right. Okay. So two more with pros and cons. Pros and cons. Um, Suzette's um, crossbody laptop carrier. I love that this is more feminine. It's got a little tassel. I didn't think I was a tassel person, but I like it. It's tastefully done. It is very tasteful. Um, I love these grab handles. I can. I was telling Janae earlier. I ha am a small person in general which is why this weight hurts my shoulders but I can wear it all the way up here mm -hmm. and I really like this um, it kind of redistributes the weight to my torso a little and yeah. I can I can shoulder it better um, you can also carry it on your what forearm. What is that drop? Where's that tape measure? I'll measure this really quick. I'm a seamstress in another life so I uh, <laughs> I couldn't show up without a tape measure. It's about seven inches. Okay that's good. Um, Eight, 8 to 12 is standard for a toe. So yeah, seven. so it's, it's a little smaller a little... than, mm -hmm. and I I didn't see Suzette put it up on her shoulder in her, you know, demo okay. of the bag. So I don't think she really meant for that, but it can be done. Um, yeah. I love the pockets. Danae was showing you the pockets earlier. Um, they're very easy to get in and out of, and um, I have my certain places for everything in this bag, too. And um, I think the only real con for me about this bag is that the crossbody strap is a little bit too narrow for me. Yeah. Um, I would carry this bag with the, um, the strap from my thin front pocket briefcase because they're both chestnut. And uh, that's how this shoulder pad got so worn in because I would use it with this bag as well. Oh, and these straps mm -hmm. are like three-fourths inch wide. Yeah. And then one and a quarter is normally where that weight feels really nice. Yeah. And then and then this this, this wide is, shoulder pad. Can I is, jump over here? Yeah. It's a sem centimeters. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is one and a fourth. Oh, I know my I know my straps. Okay. But then but then the shoulder pad is wider too, and that's yeah. what really yeah. 
So when I don't have this bag packed out, the um, this feels fine. But when I put my laptop in it and then the you know the AC adapter and everything that I need if I'm going to need my laptop at work, then it's really too heavy for the the so filter strap. Again, then yeah. one more time, just so they can remember how much it fits. Oh, yeah. Sounds so pretty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so... Um, oh, and look at what you have. Oh yes, long try fold. And yeah, I chestnut. And what's this? Oh, mm, yeah, <laughs> chestnut. Yeah, you are a fan. I think the Sorry, only saddle. I think the only piece I didn't bring with me to Danae's tonight is my Karoha, oh. <laughs> which is also Love Forty One. Um, yeah, you wear that every Sunday. Yeah, Love that's Sundays. that's my go-to bag for um, short outings. Uh, yeah, so I really I really love this one. It holds more than you think it will for how narrow it is. I don't know if we already talked about whether you would whether or not you would sell this one. Did we mention that? I'm I I thought about selling this one and when I went to go get it out of my closet, I decided not to sell it. I decided <laughs> to put all of my things in it and then carry it to work the next day. So yeah. I think this one will probably stay in my collection. Yeah. It's just so different from all of all of the others. Yes, variety. I'm all about variety. Okay. Uh, and last then bag. Final one for pros and cons. Pros and cons. Uh, Coke leather. So pros for this bag is definitely the custom factor. I wanted something that was simple and easy to get into and get out of, and um, he definitely worked with me, and that was all great. It fits my laptop perfectly. And um, all those things are awesome. Every feature that I wanted, every pocket, even like a key ring, uh, he was able to, to do. Um, cons for this bag, um, the floppy leather is nice for some things, but I think for a briefcase, um, I like them a little, with a little more structure. It just looks a little more formal to have, and of course it stands up on its own now, but um, <laughs> it likes it likes to fall over, and um, so that is, that's something I don't like as much about this bag. And you also, almost needed to experience that, to know that. Yeah, it's not so, yeah, I had never had a flappy leather mm -hmm. satchel before, but, and I mean, it's great if you love that, but I didn't know that wasn't something that I was going to love. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, with the depth of this bag, I wanted it a little bit deeper than um, some of the narrower bags that I had had before it. But when uh, when I got it, the depth, um, it was more than I was expecting. Like, it mm -hmm. looked bigger on the inside than, than I really I need. Yeah. So, Just I mean, I, turn it back I, think, um, I think it turned out to be about four inches in depth, and I think I really only need three. Other than that, um, yeah. because then I put too much stuff in it, it gets really heavy. And, and it kind of becomes more of a circle bag because yeah. the walls come in and mm -hmm. it loses and it didn't have yeah. structure. But uh, Josh was great to work with, and the leather has great pull-up, and it's a gorgeous color. This is Horween uh, with uh, bridal leather for the straps. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Out of all of these briefcases, I think that one's my favorite, like style-wise. I have oh, yeah. no experience with it, but that one's yeah. That one's my style. Um, good job. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, where you are at with this search. What are you using? What are you? What are you looking forward to? So, what, what am I using? Um, I keep coming back to when I travel. And we didn't talk about this earlier, so oh. it's <laughs> Go for it. Oh my goodness. When I travel, I like to take my, um, my original. Oh, good. Um, it fits perfectly under the seat in front of me on airplanes. Mm -hmm. And I can have all of the little things I need, just easy to reach, and I just, I can pack so many things in here, and it looks nice going through the airport. And cool. And everything. But um, I really, that's what this one is really relegated to these days is, is travel when, um, when I'm not going to be carrying it around day in, day out. It, does, it is too heavy on my shoulder to, okay. to carry to work every day. Um, I sometimes reach for the laptop app, 
when um, I'm running errands in town or if I'm going to Joanne and I want, you know, my, I want fabric samples with me or I want my notebook with me or uh, my tape measure with me um, or I just need more things than will fit in the Kroha, mm -hmm. I'll grab this one for running around town. It's very light um, and it's it a looks... a grab and go. Yeah, it's a, it's a grab and go. Um, sometimes I'll bring this to church, you know, I can mm -hmm. fit more stuff in it. Um, as far as uh, carrying things to and from work lately, I've been um, I've been using this one and and this one depending on how much stuff I need to carry that day. But unfortunately, really recently, over the past month or so, <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> I've been using my four. I think we calculated fourteen year old. Um, North Face backpack because oh traitor just kidding just kidding because Jen has tiny shoulders because her back hurts <laughs> just kidding my sh I'm so my sh sorry <laughs> I have um at different times um hurt Aww. each of my shoulders carrying too much weight yeah. in in these take care of gorgeous leather bags because the leather you know it's 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 just so much quality, you know, hanging on your shoulder. So <laughs> that's a funny way to say it. So she's been using a little beat up backpack, North yeah. Face, which is fine. Yeah, and um, I can, I can, I can feel it getting a little better over time. So hopefully, yeah. I'll be back. Your health in... is number one, not these yes. bags. Yes, yes, this is true. So, so we're not sure what the next thing is. The search continues. You have one company in mind. In I, mind. I do. I have a company in mind. Um, they have a wonderful range of um, veg tan leather pieces. They're all made by hand in um, the artist workshop in New England. I can't remember where her workshop is, but it's all on her website. And um, the company's name is Ambassador. Ambassador. And I'm really excited because her style, she brings a Scandinavian minimalist style to her, um, to all of her pieces. She has accessories and um, briefcases and um, some totes as well. And I have my eye on her briefcases because the style really is, mm -hmm. is what I'm looking for. And um, I've talked with her a little bit and I think she can get me down to about three pounds of uh, leather and um, okay so that's where we're gonna go next and then uh, you're thinking of selling the 13er I am pretty sure that I'm gonna sell the 13er yes. and if she doesn't that's fine this can still be in the video but if she does you'll probably post that in the buy sell group I yeah I'll post this in the buy sell group yeah. um it's not my perfect leather briefcase but it might be somebody else's perfect good way to put it nice so. sales pitch so um, this was the, these are not numbered, but it was, it must have been the first run because I bought it the day it came out. Um, okay. So it's only been carried a couple times. It's got a little bit of, it's started to break in a little bit. But yeah, but it looks in great condition. Yeah, it's in perfect condition. Um, I'll help you take the photos. Well, any, if there's not anything else, I think you're, I think we did it. This was a long one, but I hope helpful because she did all this work so you don't have to. I mean, come on. Tell thank you to Jen in the comments. And thank you for being on the channel. This yeah. was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. Thank this you. was a lot of fun. And be sure to check me out on Instagram, The Perfect Leather Bag. Um, I think you've been featured on there before. Have I? I think. Maybe. I don't know. I think I've taken pictures of your bags on Sundays and posted uh, them there. She probably has. I'm not on Instagram, so. Yeah. Well, thank you. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye.